I was going through an old box of old uh, tapes, and I found this old tape on Betamax. It's the Sony demo tape to sell the SLHF 1000 that was presented to dealers. Now this tape's had a lot of play on it. It's been sitting around for over 40 years. It's got a lot of dropouts, but uh, I think you might find this interesting. This is what Sony used to sell the HF 1000. Due to a copyright claim, I have had to mask some of the sound. I hope it works. Check this out. I found an old SLHF 1000 demonstration tape with the guy's name on it that was the Sony rep at the time. I guess this got forgotten at the store. It was his own personal demo tape. I found it years ago and took it home and uh, I'm going to play it today in my SLHF 1000 because it'll be in beta 1. I'll need this machine to play it. It'll be recorded in super high band, I'm sure. Let's uh, check out what's on this demo tape and I may have to, if there's music playing, I may have to mute it for copyright reasons, but we'll see what happens. Let's check out this demo tape. Try that again. That didn't go in right. Let's try that again. There we go. I just got my uh, slides back or my a photo outlet that wants to offer more than just slide to tape transfers. But uh, I was wondering if there's anything you can do to make them a little more interesting. Definitely. We can put them on videotape, we can add music, we can add titles. We can make a real professional production out of it. Oh, that's great. Okay, at this point, we're trying to pinpoint what type of home it is that you would like. Or a real estate office looking for an efficient way to pinpoint customers' tastes. Do you think that'd be something you'd be interested in? I like it. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, it sounds just like what we're looking for. Okay, as you see, it does have fun. Mm -hmm. Or for video enthusiasts who want a finished video program with all the earmarks of a professional hey. production. You're going to be a star. <laughs> You're going to be a star. Sony introduces Super Beta Studio, the SLHF 1000. Hi, I'm Lisa Michaels. The SLHF 1000 is the ultimate time shift recorder and professional quality VCR, superior image technology, precise editing capability for clean cuts between scenes, hi-fi stereo sound, and even a character generator, all rolled into one machine. It's the most complete consumer half-inch record editing system available. You can edit from most Sony Beta VCRs and many VHS models. You can also edit from any Video 8 VCR. For maximum flexibility and maximum use of features, however, the ideal setup is using two SLHF 1000s together. Let's look at the features of using a dual SLHF 1000 setup and how it can help you to create truly professional looking video productions. The first thing a professional looks for in a recorder is superior technology. The SLHF 1000 incorporates two features that improve the video signal to ensure your production looks as good as the pros. All video recorders take a video signal and split it into a color signal called chroma and a black and white signal called luminance. Super Beta increases your luminance signal, giving you much more detail. Super Beta also improves chroma, giving you much more color information on your tape. In addition, chroma noise or color distortion is greatly reduced. The less chroma noise, the sharper your video picture. Another feature is our Beta 1S Super High Band Record Mode. In Beta 1S, which is the fastest mode, more tape passes across the video head in a given time interval, allowing more video information to be recorded on the tape. 
This means more lines of resolution and sharper recorded pictures. This is especially valuable when you make second generation recordings. Now your edited tape can look as good as your original material. The second characteristic of professional video production is clean edits and ease of editing. The SLHF 1000 features a jog shuttle dial on both your deck and your remote commander. From the precision of frame by frame advance all the way to beta scan, the jog shuttle dial is an integral part of your accuracy and control. You can program all your editing functions from your remote commander and the data will be displayed on your television monitor. For example, by pressing the tape remaining button, you will also get a readout on how many minutes you have left on your tape. By making note of the time frame displayed by the SLHF 1000, you can quickly locate the desired scenes when you begin your editing. The counter displays hours, minutes, seconds, and even frames. Another tool for selecting scenes is the Tab Marker Index System. It's a sophisticated search system that allows you to electronically mark up to 19 locations on your tape for reference later on simply by pressing the Index Mark button. Now you're ready to put the scenes you've chosen together. And this is where the SLHF 1000 really shines and makes you look like a pro. To take maximum advantage of all features, Let's see how the SLHF-1000 performs when used with another SLHF-1000. To start your editing process, play the original footage and refer to the on-screen display. At the desired starting point, press the mark button. The end indicator will now blink. When you locate your desired endpoint, press the mark button again. Up to eight scenes can be assigned in the same way. Once you've selected your edit points, activate the automatic assemble editing by pressing the start button. Your assigned scenes will be played back and recorded consecutively with edits that are as clean and as sharp as a professional production. It's Sony's advanced flying the race head technology combined with machine assembly that makes this professional clean editing possible. Because both SLHF-1000 synchronized and rolling when the edit is made, there are no blanks between scenes, just crisp cuts exactly where you want them to be. In addition to superior technical quality and clean edits, professional video productions also have titles. The SLHF 1000 has an alphanumeric character generator built right in. You can set characters in four different sizes and create up to eight different pages of titles. In addition to rear panel connections, the SLHF 1000 has the convenience of a front panel for connecting a video source, an audio source, or a microphone. Not unlike what the pros call a studio patch bay. And finally, no production would be complete without a soundtrack. By using the audio insert button, music or narration can be easily added to your program. The more you use the SLHF 1000, the more you'll enjoy it, and the more you will appreciate its professional features. The SLH 1000 of video productions. The kind of quality you tend to expect. Well, as you can see, that. Uh tape is in pretty rough shape. What happens is the oxide is actually coming right off the tape. That's where all the dropouts were. It's because this tape is just deteriorated to the point where the oxide is coming off. I bet you if I give this tape a bit of a, a twist, it'll probably flake right off in my hand. Let's try it. Rewind it back to the beginning. Eject the tape. Let's see how bad this is. It's, it's in rough shape. As I thought, look at that. The oxide's just falling right off the tape. If I just take the tape, and just this is at the beginning here, so it won't matter. But if I just take the tape and just, just fold it upon itself and just do that, it comes right off. No, it just falls right off the tape, just, just twisting it. I'm not putting any tension. I'm just looping the tape, and it's falling apart, as you can see. 
that's what's happening inside the machine. You play a tape like this a few times, you'll end up with a bunch of uh, oxide particles all over the inside of the machine. That's why you need to get old videotapes transferred and stop using tape because this stuff's all very old and this is what happens. It physically breaks down. The binder has failed. This tape is shot. I was lucky to get one play out of it. Oh, before I go, I found this tape too. Ever seen one of these? The good old HX Pro X. I wonder what's on this. Oh, a program called Illumination. That would have been recorded from Laserdisc and some fireworks, but look at that tape. Ever seen one of those Sony Beta tapes? That's probably the same tape that was sold as a Betacam tape. But this was the Consumer Version Pro X. I love it. It's a nice, nice tape case. You can see both reels in there. Even though you can't see them in the machine, I just thought it was kind of cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.